Hello, and welcome to this episode of In Discussion With from Pharmacy Update Online. Today, I'm talking to Dr. John Clark from the University of South Florida, and we're discussing his work in primary care and his investigations into the early education of African-American pharmacists. John, could you start by introducing yourself? My name is John. I have my middle initials, Albert uh, Clark. I've been practicing pharmacy, pharmacy for over 40 years. I grew up in a little town called Forest, Mississippi, in what is called the Deep South in the USA. I went to pharmacy school at Texas Southern University in Houston, Texas, where I, I earned my Bachelor's of Science degree in pharmacy. I moved to Detroit, Michigan to attend graduate school at Wayne State University, and I've completed my pharmacy residency at Detroit General Hospital under Dr. Wendell Hill, who at the time was just finishing up his term of office as president of the American Society of Health System Pharmacists, which, as you know, one of the large pharmacy groups in the, in the country. So after graduating with my master's degree in pharmacy and administration, I moved to Florida to complete my doctor of pharmacy program at Florida A&M University in, in Tallahassee, Florida. So after graduation, I remained in Florida and went to work at Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami, where I stayed for 18 years before transitioning to where I'm at now, which is the University of South Florida College of Pharmacy uh, in Tampa, Florida. Could you give us a brief overview of your, your role, your current job and what it involves? My current role is as an assistant professor in, in the College of Pharmacy at the University of South Florida, which carries a joint, a joint appointment with the College of Medicine. And I teach in, we have three job requirements. One is teaching, pharmacy practice, and research. So we have to teach in, in courses and we also have to have a practice. And they expect us to be involved in research because they want to see publications and presentations and so forth. And part of my practice is in a student-run free clinic that we call the Bridge Healthcare Clinic, um, where we also are able to continue doing research and also training our students. I'd like to explore some of those things in more detail. So let's start with the Bridge Healthcare Clinic. What is it? What does it involve? And how do pharmacists and pharmacy students fit in? The Bridge Healthcare Clinic is located on our campus, on the University of South Florida um, campus. It was started by a group of medical students. It's a nonprofit free clinic that offers services to the uninsured and the underserved patient population in that community around the campus. So they cover about a 25 mile radius around, square mile around the, around the campus. Uh, the, the, the name bridge is an acronym. The B stands for building, the R is relationships, and the I is for initiative dedicated to gaining equality. So building relationships and initiative dedicated to gaining equality. So when the medical students started the clinic, they thought, well, what a great idea to, uh, we should bring in other, other disciplines. So this, this, the clinic is a collaborative arrangement, what we call an interprofessional, interdisciplinary arrangement with med students from the College of Medicine, College of Physical Therapy, College of Social Work, College of Public Health, and the College of Pharmacy. So they work together to try to improve outcomes and promote collaboration in education and training of, 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 of students. So the clinic's mission is to provide free medication, disease state management to the university population in that area with the goal to improve the health outcomes of those patients by giving them advice and managing their medication therapy with, with pharmacists and pharmacy students in that clinic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and what kind of issues do you focus on? We focus on the area of access to care because we felt in this population, one of the biggest issues they would have is having access to care because of their, their underserved or their uninsured condition. The second area is adherence. And, that's, uh, and then the third is coordination of, of, of their care. Medication therapy review is a fourth area. And the last one is education. So it's that access adherence, 
coordination of care, medication therapy review, and education. So that's the pharmacy part of the clinic's mission. 